freaking lying, cussing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now. Come on, freak. All right now. But she's been seeing that stuff. Yeah. Come on. So watch this. They uncovered. Tell your neighbor, you've been uncovered. They didn't cover. So they rent their clothes. Then the next thing it says, they beat them. Then they beat you. After they cover you, they beat you. The people's court is designed for your justice. It's designed to beat you. Yeah. The people's court. Yeah. Beating justice. It's not designed to, to elevate you in no way, shape, or form. No. When the people judge you, it's designed to beat you. Amen. To beat you. To beat you. To beat you. To beat you. Because we've allowed church folk to push us into stuff. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with text. It's true. We allow church folks to push us out and support us as long as the crowd is behind us. But as soon as the crowd dissipates, oh no, I knew she was, I knew he was. Preach. And then let, let the world judge him. You know, he doing this, she doing that, they was this and they was that. And I tell you this story all the time because it amazes me, it amazes me, it amazes me. I tell y'all this story all the time and I, it amazes me. I'm in the grocery store and I'm standing behind two ladies. And they're talking about me, but they don't know it's me. Hallelujah. Amen. They have come up with some bogus story. And, and so I jump in the story. This is me. Y'all know me. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm peculiar. <laughs> and I realize that they're talking about me. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and so I say stuff like this. I say, you know, he's six foot three. And he like to slap folks in grocery lines. So <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> I was funny because cause you don't even know you're talking about me and you're talking about me. <laughs> Lord and Jesus. You have no clue oh, he can preach me. good, Lord Jesus. Because you, you, you delivering foolishness to someone else because somebody else delivered foolishness to you and you perpetuating it because we expect the world to give us justice. Right now. Amen. We realize, just like they did, you take it to the world, the world will justify whatever you say. And that's what they did. They realized that if we change the story from he cast a devil out, he cast a demon out. Not one place in the story when they told it did they say that. Where did they teach anything? What does their, what does them being Jews have to do with the price of tea in China? Amen. Look, look at how they premise the justice, the people's court, the beating. Look at how they set it up. They first alienated them. They said them being Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Alienation. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call you out because you're black. We're gonna call you out because you're white. We're gonna call you out because you're poor. We're gonna call you out because you're rich. We're gonna call you out alienation. We doing it every day. We even do it in the political climate. We mad because they're rich. We mad because they're poor. Yeah. Haters. Amen. Pro Let Amen. me stop, Lord Jesus. Then, then he changes the story. He says, watch this. They teach us something that's not lawful for us to know. Lord Jesus. What did they teach? How to cast the demon out? Because that's the only thing I learned. That when these demons keep bothering me, I'm going to have patience with them possessed. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hey. So then it said, it was just, so, so he then takes them to people who think like them. Uh -huh. We don't take you to people who will give you righteous justice. We don't take you to people who can look at it both ways. And, 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 and y'all hear me say this in the church all the time. Uh-uh. The problem I have is I always tell you, our church is 55 and younger. It's a 55 and younger church. So I have to always do this. Because I can't alienate the, 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 the uh, over 21s, but I can't alienate the under 21s. And so, so as a pastor, you have to balance it. Amen. And, 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 and that's the toughest job in the world, is making sure that uh, uh, over 21 can work with under 21. Amen. Because neither one of them see it the same. 
And so what happens is, watch this, even in the church, we alienate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's darker. Or she's lighter. Or he's he's more effeminate. Or she's less. Or, or he's this. Or he's that. We, we've got every issue in the church. Yeah. Amen. And we'll find every reason to alienate you. Yeah. Amen. We got clicks. Churches link and character killing. Lord Jesus. I ain't gonna deal with you. Now I'm mad at him, so I gotta be mad at you. Uh, teach, Bishop. Teach. Amen. Amen. So I'm coming to church because I'm mad at him. Lord, no. Lord Jesus. Teach, Bishop. Yeah. I know this ain't, this ain't, this ain't text, but think about it for a moment. I'm trying to get us to stop doing stupid stuff. Okay. I'm going to stop going to this church because I'm mad at a member. Everybody in here is volunteer service. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out.